Greetings all you metamaniacs, I'm Team Money G, and today good old Maurice and I will showcase my fleet shard mate, executioner's Trey killing, phasma wielding, first order team. Sometimes we overlook the obvious when we are theory crafting. Those teams and tunes sitting right under our noses, elegant simple solutions. Odds are you have a secret ingredient sitting on your bench. One of the great strengths of Treya Lead is its critical avoidance. This first order team simply uses advantage to ensure critical hits land on the opposing Sith and turn meter gains to ensure it's done before the Sith get the upper hand. When discussing first order in general, the core principle of this particular strategy is advantage and making sure first order executioner has it on every turn he takes. If First Order Executioner doesn't crit, his value plummets. First Order Officer leads with it, Crew gives it passively when hit, Executioner gives it to himself, and Phasma grants it to all allies. Timing all the turn meter gains can be tricky, but once you have it, it's not as difficult as you think. Apart from Officer, you don't need lightning secondary speed, but you do need to have your speed clock properly. Officer must be first to act, but remember that you get an additional 30 speed from Crew's lead to play with. He feeds the turn meter and advantage to Executioner, who then crits and feeds an additional 10% turn meter to the team. You'll want your OG Kylo clock to go immediately following this turn meter boost. Use his AoE and feed an additional 25% turn meter to your entire team. Kylo and Mask goes next, stuns a key non-Sith enemy, such as Nest or, or Thrawn. And then our secret weapon Phasma reapplies advantage to the entire team and boosts everyone's turn meter 50%. Your Executioner and Officer are now free to take their second turns before the opposing team gets a single move. Executioner gets another chance to lay the wood. First Order Officer gets to use Pinning Shot on Treya, which will reduce her turn meter, feed turn meter to your team, and also reduce your First Order Allies' cooldowns. Sounds pretty great, huh? It is. However, you'll want to keep a few things in mind. You want to avoid debuffing Scion or Treya, otherwise Nihilus will get his turn and reduce your cooldowns. You want a little potency to go with First Order Officer Speed, as removing turn meter from Trey is vital. If she goes, she isolates, and isolating any member of your team cripples its effectiveness. You have a total of one cleanse. That will be on cooldown immediately, so you want to time it properly. When modding your team's speed, remember that you do get 20% turn meter when you crit. This comes from Crew's leadership ability, meaning Executioner will get two turns before the opposing team every match. The order of required speed is as follows. First Order Officer has the most, followed by OG Kylo, Kylo Ren Unmasked, and finally Phasma. Executioner can go where you need him to, and you want him to go as fast as possible. Critical chance doesn't matter as they are all getting advantage up. First Order Officer needs a speed set, there's an emphasis on speed, and a potency cross and set if possible as well. You basically need to clock your First Order Officer in relation to whatever you're fighting. If you're using this team in Arena, you're going to have to pile on the speed like you would any Arena team in order to beat tunes like Nest, Thrawn, and Dooku. Perhaps surprisingly, OG Kylo comes next in the demand for speed. Here ideally you give him a critical damage set with a critical damage triangle in order to maximize the bonus damage he gets on his AoE. You're looking for a focus on offense and health with First Order Executioner, with a critical damage triangle and an offense cross. For Kylo Ren Unmasked, you need a speed set with protection secondaries for survivability. This will also draw Treya's Isolate to him, even if he isn't taunting. Phasma, you need her to be moderately speedy. She needs to go last to boost turn meter. She is there for advantage and defense down. We're going to play longer full videos of the Treya teams. Please visit Executioner's channel where he has lots of videos posted. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share his channel as well as ours.
I'm Tima Naji, and the other voice you heard was good old Maurice, and we are both part of Operation Metaverse. We invite you to share this video with your guild and in your favorite chat rooms. We have a ton of content planned that you will not want to miss, so like and subscribe to get updates when more videos are released. <laughs>